Hi, I'm Marcel Vidal. I'm a visual artist from Wicklow Town. Uh, so when I was growing up, my father was a painter. And um, I suppose for me, that was quite unique. And I probably found it quite exciting to have a father who was an artist, because I suppose most kids wouldn't have a parent who did a job like that. I don't know if I ever um, chose to be an artist or even thought about it as following in his shoes. Um, I think from an early age, I had always wanted to be an artist. And I can recall at the age of 10, um, talking to other kids in primary school and telling them I was going to go to art college and I was going to be an artist. And a lot of it had to do with a drawing being made a fuss of by a teacher. And I was showing it to them on the way out of school. And I suppose, yeah, that, that was a time like where I knew for sure and I was only the age of 10. But then even at the age of 16, I was preparing my portfolio for NCID during transition year. And during preparing that portfolio, I was in South of France with my father drawing and we were discussing art college and discussing art. And um, that, at that time, that would have been very moving for him because even though I'd always expressed my interest in art, I don't think he ever thought I would go the step and actually become an artist. So art school is quite an exciting thing. Um, I went to NCID and I found that it brought me out of myself. I probably had quite an introvert personality before going there. So you get to meet a lot of like-minded people and um, you share your interests, but then at the same time you get to be creative and to go through that process in dialogue with tutors. So I found it quite exciting, but at the same time it can be quite limiting because you go in sometimes with the idea that I want to be a painter. So you might be very good at drawing, but then the tutors go against you and say like, don't draw, you know, maybe paint more, be looser, and maybe make sculpture because they want to challenge your ideas and notions about art so that they can build up from that and build content and concept so that you can create a visual language that's strong and that can also talk to a wider audience. Um, I work in painting and sculpture and I suppose I find it hard to differentiate both practice. Um, they both kind of follow different rules. So for me, sculpture is probably the most exciting because it's the most freeing. It's the time where I don't have to follow tradition. Um, in painting, I follow a lot of traditional ideas. I paint in oil on linen and I paint in quite a representational manner. So that limits maybe uh, my ability to kind of express in a more explosive manner, whereas the sculpture allows that freedom. And then there's a play with materials. So I'm very interested in, you know, building from materials and using tools. So it's, it's yeah, it's a more exciting, more creative, more free process. Um, and there's a lot more room for experimentation. Whereas with the painting, I'm very much in a formal structure. I have a setup with a palette. You know, the way I lay out my brushes, the way I put out my paint on the palette, it's all very particular. But with sculpture, it's chaos. I, I work uh, in the studio like a normal job, so I work maybe five to six days a week and I usually start at 10 o'clock and I would leave the studio at 7 o'clock. So depending on the type of week it is, I may have to do an application or I may be replying to emails when I get in in the morning and then I might set up to paint. So if I'm working on a big painting, that could be a day spent just mixing paints in preparation for that painting and come in the next day and that's where I really get into it. Or it could be that I want to do something more energetic and that's where I'll visit the sculpture. So working on sculpture, I usually start in drawing and um, I might sketch it out and maybe that would be sketch using available materials that I have in the studio and I start to correlate those together in my mind through the notebook and then I'll go in and start physically building something. And usually it starts in wood and then I might be cutting, uh, screwing, attaching things together, very physical, very like, like a DIY, a lot of DIY materials in the studio and um, a lot of power tools. So it's, it's a very free process. I find it's more like being a kid and being allowed to use your father's tools. I spend a lot of time with my father as he brought us up. You know, my mum was working full time and my dad was full time in the studio. So we spend a lot of time in the studio and I have great memories of being in the studio. And I think it was a very exciting thing to visit the studio. He used to have a studio in Henrietta Street. So it was in an old Georgian building and it was full of artists. So I can remember walking up the stairs and smelling the oil paint before I arrived at the studio. And I found that very exciting. And then when you entered the studio, you had all his uh, belongings, like his personal items, like sculptures, things that he had collected, but then also his paintings. So he had his paintings stored there. He had his palette, his materials that he used to paint, his brushes. And this is all translated into how I feel in the studio and how I set up my studio to create this safe space, a space for the mind to be creative. And that's what my dad gave me was a value in the creative spirit, the ability to make things and the end goal to be that satisfaction. I suppose the best thing about being an artist is that you have a sense of control, a creative freedom, an ability to kind of process the world through your mind, and then to have a space, a studio, allows for that critical thinking. And I think that's the main thing is that freedom. You're your own boss, you decide your day. You know, it's a very hard job because there's a lot of struggles within that, but at the same time, there's a freedom in that.